Welcome to the third video in the Ranarex Studio Recorder series. In the previous videos, you created a test solution and a single recording that inserted a record into the Ranarex Demo App database. In this video, you'll learn how to edit your recording. While recording, a delay between entering the words Sally and Anne may cause these to be recorded as two separate key sequence actions. To keep our recording clean, let's merge those into a single action. Select both actions, right-click, and choose Merge Selected Keyboard Items to combine these text entries. In the Add Entry Recording, you should have a key sequence that types the value 25 into the age field. Let's make this step more efficient by removing the backspace and entering the value directly. The UI element for the age field is called Up, Down, Edit. Drag this element from the repository into the recording just after the current key sequence. Select Set Value as the action and Text as the name. In the Value field, enter 25. Now, delete the key sequence. Your tests will be more maintainable if you take the time to delete unused actions such as extra mouse clicks. You can also use the Cleanup button in the repository to delete any unused repository items. The Status window will notify you if any repository items are removed during the cleanup. It's important to keep recording modules as small as possible so that they are easier to maintain and reuse. This recording contains two different functions, one to add a record and another to delete it. Let's separate these functions. Select the two actions that click on and then delete the database entry, right-click, and choose Move to New Recording Module. Let's call the new module Delete Entry. Click Create. The selected actions appear in the new recording module in the File view. You'll also see the new recording module in the Module Browser view. To ensure that the Delete Entry recording can find the record to delete, let's add the action to click on the Test Database tab to this recording. Simply copy the action from the Add Entry recording and then paste it in the Delete Entry recording. Drag it to the proper position at the top of the recording. Now, add the Delete Entry module to the test case. Open the test suite and then open the test case. Drag the Delete Entry recording from the module browser into the test case just below the Add Entry module. Since we're not using the Recording 1 module, let's delete it. You cannot delete recording modules directly from the module browser. Instead, select the unused recording in the Projects pane and then delete it. It is possible to copy and paste entire recording modules. However, the best practice is to have as little duplication as possible in your recording modules. Make your modules small and reusable instead of copying them. Then, if you need to make a change in the future, you only need to update one recording module rather than several. Now that you've learned techniques to create and edit recordings, watch the next video in this series to learn how to run recordings.